coffee is always a good eye opener first thing in the morning, right? Yeah, some people say they can't function before that first cup, but you know, new research suggests that a few more cups could actually help your body fight certain types of cancer. Well, let's bring in our senior medical correspondent, Elizabeth Coleman, chuckle only because it seems that there is differing research about coffee all the time. Is it good for you or is it not? I know, and you know what, in some ways the verdict is not still in. However, I will tell you that this is really a pretty convincing study. This study looked at many other studies, which looked at thousands of patients, and what they found is that people who drank more than four cups a day had a 39% lower risk of getting a cancer uh, of the mouth or cancer of the pharynx. That's a pretty big benefit, but again, that was when folks drank more than four cups of coffee a day. Now, they don't know why coffee might be good for you, but they do think it might have something to do with the antioxidants that are in coffee. All right, so instead of drinking, you know, one, maybe two cups of coffee every morning, should we just say, all right, heck with it, and drink the whole pot? <laughs> well, you know, you might want to think twice before you do that, because as you said, there have been studies that go back and forth, and there have certainly been studies that show that coffee can make you irritable and anxious, not surprising, all the caffeine, and also that it can raise your blood pressure and raise your heart rate. So before you just chug all that down, you want to think about that and sort of, you know, think about, you know, kind of what am I most nervous about here and really what are my objectives? I mean, more than four cups of coffee a day, that's a lot of coffee. Right, and it's interesting, though, because we've seen, uh, as you've talked about these uh, studies, I talk about large amounts of coffee actually helping with other things as well, prostate cancer in some cases, perhaps brain tumors in other cases. Um, is, there, is there a way to sort of distill out what is good about the coffee and not worry about some of the other problems, especially for people who, let's say, have high blood pressure or shouldn't be having four cups? Well, I think you put your finger on it. If you have high blood pressure, you might want to stay away from four cups of coffee a day. If you have, let's say, Parkinson's disease in your family, you might want to talk to your doctor, hey, maybe should I be drinking a couple of cups of coffee a day because there are some studies that show that coffee can decrease your risk of getting Parkinson's. So it really has to do with what are you the most anxious about. Now, speaking of anxious, if you're one of those people who can drink a lot of coffee and not feel jumpy or restless, you know, that's that's terrific. Um, you should talk to your doctor about, well, maybe I'm someone who should drink more coffee because there are benefits and I don't seem to suffer from that irritability. Wow, so many things to consider. <laughs> We're waiting for the next study because it'll probably say, oh, everything we told you last week, forget it because it's wrong. <laughs> That Elizabeth, could be true. That could be. Elizabeth Cohen, thanks so much. I always say that because it yes. happens so often, doesn't it? Today, coffee's good for you. Tomorrow, it'll be bad for you. So stay tuned.